Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving equations of angular motion. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a disc is slowed uniformly at 5.0 radians per second squared for 4.0 seconds. The initial angular velocity is 200 radians per second. Determine the angular velocity after the 4.0 seconds. Well, we're going to start by writing down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find the angular displacement theta. The initial angular velocity omega naught is 200 radians per second. We don't know what the final angular velocity is. The angular acceleration is minus 5 radians per second squared and we've used the negative here because we're told that the disc is slowing down so it must be a negative acceleration which is a deceleration. And lastly, the time is 4.0 seconds. So remember we're trying to find the final angular velocity here so I'm going to put a star next to that one just to show it's the one we're trying to find. And you'll notice we don't know what the angular displacement theta is so we're going to choose the one equation of motion which does not have angular displacement theta in it. So that's going to be this one here, omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. So if we then substitute in our numbers, we have 200 plus minus 5 times 4.0, so that's simply going to become 180 radians per second. Question 2 says that a wheel accelerates uniformly from rest at 3.0 radians per second for 5.0 seconds. Find the angular displacement after 5.0 seconds. So we're asked to find theta. The initial angular velocity omega naught is 0 radians per second. We don't know the final angular velocity. The angular acceleration is 3.0 radians per second and lastly the time is 5.0 seconds. So putting a star next to the angular displacement theta this time because that's the one we're trying to find. Notice that we don't know the final angular velocity so we're going to use the equation of motion that doesn't have omega in it which is this one here. So we have theta equals omega naught t plus a half alpha t squared and substituting in our numbers this gives us 0 times 5.0 plus a half times 3.0 times 5.0 squared. Notice this first term is times by zero, so that's just going to disappear. So this simplifies to 37.5 radians. Question 3 says that the angular velocity of an engine is increased to 3000 rpm, that's revolutions per minute, with an acceleration of 29 radians per second squared. If the angular displacement is 1600 radians, calculate the initial angular velocity. We know the angular displacement theta is 1600 radians. We don't know the initial angular velocity, that's what we're trying to find here. We know that the final angular velocity is at 3000 revolutions per minute. So to convert 3000 revolutions per minute into radians per second, we need to times by 2 pi because that is going to convert revolutions into radians. And then because we've got the per minute, we need to divide by 60 to find the radians per second. So this gives us 3000 times 2 pi over 60, which gives us 314.2 radians per second. We then have our angular acceleration, which is 29 radians per second squared. And lastly, we don't know what our time is. So putting a star next to omega naught, that's the one we're trying to find. Notice we don't have the time, so we're going to use the equation of motion which doesn't have t in it, which is this one here. So we have omega squared equals omega naught squared plus 2 alpha theta. And substituting in our numbers, we have 314.2 squared is equal to omega naught squared plus 2 times 29 times 1. 1600. So if you do this term, so if you do this in your calculator first and then divide this side by this answer, this will give you omega naught squared equals 5896. And then notice that that's a squared term, so we need to square root it to find omega naught. So taking the square root of that gives us omega naught equals 76.8 radians per second. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you found value in it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.